Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests, people asking me how to program beats and ultra beat and do stuff with hip hop music. So I just went ahead and I put this together real quickly and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that after I um, play this little loop here that I made. And I'll show you how I made it. So let me go ahead and play it first. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I made that now. Uh, it's actually really easy to do. Uh, move this over out of the way so it doesn't play in my loop. Um, so here's what I did. First thing I did is I went to the IO and I assigned Ultra Beat. Um, within Ultra Beat, this is normally what the screen would look like. You'd have the, the main view here with all the controls and um, everything you're here for you to play around with. Um, so what you wanna do is go ahead and go to full view Full view will actually take you to what is more like a grid. And what you see here are these little blue dots. And these little blue dots actually represent um, the pattern of your sound, how it's going to be played on the screen as the sequencer plays back. So basically, my sequence is let me go ahead and mute some of these tracks so I can show you. The little red M is for mute, and obviously, the S is for solo. So I'm going to just play this bottom one right here. Okay, so what I just did was I turned the sequencer on down here. So, so the kick drum goes on one and on three, and then on 11, and then on um, 17, 18, 19, and then on 27. Okay, and over here it tells you what it is. Right above that, and you can actually change this by clicking on here and you see how these little blue colors these little lights light up so if I was to go ahead and put these in here now and these little blue lines represent the how loud the actual instrument is so I'm going to turn these down a little bit so they're equal to what the other ones are um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the mute off the top one Let's say I didn't want those, I could just take them out. Okay, so then I have another um, sound up here going, which is the, the pedal hat. I've muted it. I'm going to go ahead and unmute it. Now I'm going to solo it. It just goes all the way across, except for the section in the middle, where it goes uh, 13, 14, and 15 real quick. Okay, you can also pan these to the right or to the left. So that's the left, that's to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to center. That's centered. Okay, so this is what it sounds like when all of them are playing. So let's say that I like that a lot and I wanna go ahead now and add it in my song you can also, if you start the sequencer, this, this will play back as long as you have the sequencer on right here. This is for the sequencer. So basically, you could start your sequencer and this beat would play back with your song. But let's say that you want to actually move this sequence to, your, your actual, to an actual track where you can edit it and you can actually uh, move the sounds out of this one track, split up the sounds. You can do that down here at the bottom. There's this little section down here where it says pattern. You just, um, hang on, sorry. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Let me go back.
Okay, so that's my original. Sorry about that. Anyway, so down here, there's a little square box that says drag to arrange window. So it looks like a little box with red circles in it. Just drag this over and put it in your track where you want it to play back. Okay, let me go ahead and just mute this. So I've dragged it over here. This is where I want it to play back. Now I'm gonna stop the sequencer here. Now the sequencer's not playing back anymore, but the beat's playing back here. So that's playing beat, and now. It's really easy to do, but you can, you can play around with this thing as much as you want and create some pretty cool stuff you know, pretty easily uh, with not a lot of uh, difficulty. Um, so as I just as I've just done here, as you've seen, um, just come in here and click it around on, on different patterns. I'm gonna actually put the sequencer back on and I'm going to mute these tracks here. So you can play around with the keyboard and if you hear a sound you like, you can then you can see where it is by this little blue light right here. It tells you where that sound is. And then you can just come back in here and put that sound in. So anyway, that's pretty much how you do it. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's not very difficult. Um, if you have any questions or anything about how I did this, uh, please let me know. I'll try to get to your uh, your questions as soon as I can. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more cool videos.